Okay. This will be a Sonic Adventure Sonic Story beginner route. Um, I'd like to preface this by saying by no means am I a top 10 runner or anything like that. Uh, I think I'm actually the 50th top top 50 in the world maybe around there, right? Uh, so, you know, this isn't going to be the world's fastest Sonic Adventure tutorial or anything like that. This is just going to be a very basic beginner route. Uh, to get sub 40, right? So this is just a good starting place for people who may have had some previous experience with the game casually, but not nothing, nothing really seriously. Okay. So, so let's just jump right in. So I have an auto splitter set up. Uh, you can find this on the resources tab of the speedrun.com page for Sonic Adventure DX. It's uh, it's quite easy to set up. It takes a few clicks. Right, and uh, you don't need to worry about splits at all. So, right out the gate, okay, the very first section of the game is Chaos Zero, and this is a very basic boss fight. You're gonna start as soon as you have control of your character by doing a homing attack like this, and then going back here as quick as you can, and then this will make Chaos stand up again. You can hit him again, and what you want to do is stand right in his puddle and get hit. Then you're going to stand by this light post, he's going to jump up. Then you're going to stand by this light post and he's going to jump down instantly. Right? I'm going to do it all in full speed now. That's what happens if you don't hit him perfectly right in the puddle. If you don't hit the little red dot in his head, he'll jump back up. And that's Chaos Zero. It's a very basic boss. If you lose a second or gain a second there, it doesn't really matter. Over time, you'll get really good at it. Emerald Coast. Okay, this is, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So the main speed tech in this game for making Sonic move fast is the spin dash. And you'll notice there's two spin dash buttons. And this comes in handy because if you mash them, alternating, they can cancel each other out, right? So, this is me just mashing one of them, but this is me mashing both of them. As you can see, you move a lot faster. Oh, just, just one second. I'm just going to turn on infinite lives for the sake of this tutorial. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. So this is very important tech for the whole game. And something really uh, useful to know is that the very first spin dash at the start of your mash determines how fast the, the rest of your uh, spin dashes are gonna go. So if you go, from, if you go from nothing to spin dashing, you're not actually gonna move that fast compared to if you go from a charge one, right? Like. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, Emerald Coast, the beginner route is pretty basic. You're gonna wanna spin dash this way, jump off of here. You can also, when you get there, if you don't feel confident in going out of this spin dash, you can charge and then do it. It's a little bit slower. And then once you're on top of this bridge, you're just gonna wanna spin dash jump over here like that. That's just charging up a spin dash and pressing jump afterwards. Hit this checkpoint if you feel like it, go over here. And now there's two things you could do here. The very most basic thing you could do is just come up here, press one of your spin dash buttons to cancel, don't get hit by that, and then, you know, go down here. You never want to spin dash on a loop in this game. If you're ever going through a loop-de-loop -loop like that, if you press spin dash, it'll instantly kill you, so, so don't do that. The alternate way you could do here is come up on top and spin dash jump across, right? That's a little bit more... Slightly more advanced, but um, it's also definitely learnable for beginners. So what I'm doing at the end of that is a homing attack cancel, which is also a very important uh, piece of tech for new beginners. It's just pressing A to homing attack and then pressing B or X very quickly after it. So this is 
normal homing attack. Homing attack cancel. As you can see on the display, you're just pressing B right after. This section is fairly simple. You just mash. You can go straight up this wall with spin dash. Spin dash jump around here, get in this hole. For this section, you want to go up this wall. I'm actually not sure whether or not the shoes matter. Come down here like this. You can get suction cup through that floor there if you jump too close, like I'll show you that. If you're coming down here and you're trying to really quickly go like this, you can sometimes clip through the ground coming off it, so just be careful. Uh, spin dash jump over here. Come around to this side, spin dash jump across. If you miss the island clip, let's say you you just go into bounce, right? And, and you can't get to the edge of the island. There is a backup you could do here by just, oop, not that, sorry. Spin dashing up and then holding right and you'll just fall over here as well. But I recommend learning the island hop as a beginner because it's very simple. It's just a couple spin dash jumps. Spin dash over here, go around the side, charge your spin dash jump. Here you can spin dash jump clean up from the slight slant of the beach when you start out of bounds. But if you don't get it, you can just come on here, spin dash towards it and then hold up and it'll bring you up. And then you're gonna just use this bounce pad as intended. Spin dash down here. Now, when you're going off this ramp, you're gonna wanna press B when you get above this to cancel and land on it. And then just spin dash, mash your couple spin dash buttons and that's Emerald Coast. It's a pretty basic stage for the beginner route. Now, I personally recommend learning how to get the Chaos Ring early as a beginner, but I'll show you what to do if this is a little bit too tricky. I do this in auto, you just hit the button and spin dash jump in. But I'll show you, I'll show you a couple things that could go wrong because this is sometimes slightly annoying. You can hit the button, and uh, when you try and jump over, clip that railing a little bit, right? Uh, it's one of those things where with practice like that, right, you like you won't jump over. It's one of those things so with practice, you should be fine. Once you have that ring, or if you aren't gonna get it, if you wanna get it later, that's fine too. I can show you that route. You just come in here, Get in the train as fast as you can. My hub movement isn't incredible, so I'm not gonna do any sort of commentary on that, uh, except for a couple places where I'll explain neutral spin dashes. Come over here. Egghorn, it's a very, very easy boss. You just wanna come over to the railing. So, over here. So he flies less distance. It makes the, the whole thing a little bit quicker. And then you just want to mash A, and he just can't move. If you just mash A, it'll do all three hits in a row. Oh, also, sorry, I should have mentioned this earlier. I prefer to claw grip this game. I'm playing with a PS4 controller, and my right hand, I have my index finger on square, and my middle finger on circle for my spin dashes. But uh, I also have a friend who has a 33 minute time, and he doesn't claw grip, so it's just personal preference. Although most Sonic runners do use the claw grip, I believe. So you get the windy key, you bring it over here, pretty basic, you know, you put it in, hop in this pit. I do this level all in auto, I recommend you do as well as a beginner. Come up here, and you'll notice I hold R when I do that spin dash jump. So you hold R because in auto it helps the camera rotate better. I'll show you what happens if you don't hold R there. So if you don't hold R when you do it, you still can, but the camera just is a little bit whack. Here we're going to clip through this wall, and it's actually very easy to do that. 
you are going to want to hold L and R in auto to lock your camera behind you. This is useful to know for uh, in general. If you're in auto cam and you hold L and R, your camera will no longer rotate or move around you. And so you just want to come up to this wall approximately here, really anywhere towards the center of this, this stone, and you just charge a spin dash and just kind of hold upright like I do there. So come up here, lock your camera, upright, and then you'll fall into this hole. And you, you're going to want to keep your camera locked because if you don't lock your camera, it'll move backwards like this in auto. And this is basically the last thing you want to be dealing with, right? So you just hold L and R, spin dash onto this one, spin dash jump up here, and then spin dash jump up here. But I'll show you what happens if you miss one of those platforms. So, because this may happen in a run, uh, as a beginner especially. So you come on here, let's say you jump, but you just don't make it. There is a backup you can do by jumping onto this rock, oops, and then spin dash jumping across. But it's a little bit tricky to get the angle properly, so um, I don't usually have to practice this backup, but you can do that and then jump across. But like I said, um, it's a pretty easy spin dash jump normally, so you, you won't be screwing up too much. When you get in the tornado, you want to hold straight down so you hit this bumper automatically. I'll show you that. If you just hold straight down. Sorry, I didn't get it there. But then uh, you hold up over here. I'm gonna teach trampoline skip. Uh, it is not necessary, but it is very easy. So the intended way here is to use these buttons and then jump on this trampoline. But it's it's a little bit slow to do that. What, what you could do is this little trampoline skip. This only works in auto cam. That's why I recommend playing this level through in auto. So you're going to spin dash. And when you're on top of this platform in the ball, you're going to want to press A and start holding down. And then when you get to that section right there, when you're kind of like lingering on the bridge, you're going to press A till you get to here linger and then you're gonna just hold down and press a after a second and it will uh automatically homing attack you through the bridge it may seem a little tricky at first but after a bit of practice it should be really easy just get up there and then when you're on that point you just hold straight down and press a to homing attack through after that point you just hit that bumper when you get here, you're going to want to hold L and R to lock your camera, just so you can see that spring better. Come through, hit restart, angle up right to fall down here, then just a regular spin dash, oops, regular spin dash, jump from here, jump over, grab this rocket, come down here, This is all very basic. Homing attack that and hold A, and it will launch you up here automatically, skipping that whole section. Then just hit this bouncer. I recommend hitting this checkpoint as a beginner because you could die making this jump. So you're gonna just wanna spin dash jump. Try and aim yourself to land right here. And now this set of rings, if you come about two rings in, right the the second row you can jump off this side and you're gonna want to aim yourself a little bit towards this dark this dark cloud right here a little bit left of that and just hold straight forward and then you'll just drop down to the end of the level so i'll show that section one more time you hit the checkpoint spin dash jump hit those spin down two rows of coins in Jump off, hold towards this dark cloud. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I, uh, I was aiming towards the wrong one, sorry about that. Come down, two rows of coins in. Holding forward.
And that is Windy Valley. Here you're gonna to wanna to do a neutral spin dash when you get up windy. That means you don't hold the direction, you just spin dash because otherwise, um, well, it just saves a little bit of time because if you try and angle it because the camera's facing you, it'll make you move kind of in a weird direction. So the sewers are next. You get out of windy, come here. Don't spin dash when you enter this screen because sometimes this man will be standing right here and he'll talk to you. So when you come in here, just jump over. Jump, jump, get these shoes. These little stairs here, you can spin dash jump off of. If you hit to call, it's okay. You can just go back and do it again. But yeah, you just basically spin dash jump and hold A and it'll kind of roll you up that wall. Uh, that's another one that's a little bit weird, but just with a bit of practice should be easy. I'm not going to spend too much time trying to explain it because you'll just get a feel for it. Next is Casino. Here we're going to hit the button without using the light speed. You're going to want to switch to free cam. And you'll just charge a spin dash, jump off those, off those stairs there. But this can be quite tricky. They're, they're a little bit inconsistent. Um, at least as a beginner. So if you got the crystal ring earlier, you can also just do the intended way. It doesn't lose much time. So if you're struggling with the stairs, uh, just do that. So here's the dreaded casino skip for beginners. This is uh, where the run gets a little bit trickier. But even then, I think with good practice, anyone can learn this in, in a day or two. So you're going to load in, come over here. And this is the first spin dash hover in the game. So I'll briefly explain how those works. So this whole time when I've been doing spin dash jumps, which is just charging a spin dash and pressing jump, that's one of the two ways to make long jumps or long distance jumps in this game. The other way is a spin dash hover. And what that is, is charging a spin dash, holding A and then releasing spin dash while still holding A. Basically, when you hold A and, and charge your spin dash, it buffers you for about 60 frames in the air, so you hover for the first 60 frames. So what you're going to want to do is come over to this corner here, do a very light jump, because your hover's distance is determined on how long you last held the A button. Um, it, it sounds a little bit complicated, but basically it just means lightly tap jump before a hover. Charge your spin dash and hold A let go and you should go through that wall I'll, I'll, I'll show the wall clip first and I'll show how to land on the coins so you line up with this little black line here X and a let go of X keep holding a and it'll it'll launch you right through the wall light jump line up X and a whoop, X and a let go of X you'll go right through you will land in this room quite a bit when you're practicing but that's fine. You can just come right back. X and A, let go of X. Then we land on these coins. So the reason we don't go straight forward to land on these coins is because if we try that, light jump, X and A. Oops. You'll either go in through there or you'll hit the kill planes on the coins at the bottom if you go low enough. So it's either you'll go too high or you'll go too low and die trying to hit those coins because there's uh, an invisible wall blocking the front of it. So what we do is when we get through the wall, once again, light jump, X and A, let go of X. We arc right and then swing back into the left. Once again, light jump, X and A, through the wall, arc right, and then you're gonna wanna swing back in. I don't homing attack to land on them, but you you can for sure. It's uh, definitely possible like that. But my risk is if you go too far, your camera will get locked. And you can actually make that jump without being able to see, but as a beginner, it's much, much more difficult. So light jump, X and A, let go, and then you swing on. When you land here, all the hard parts are done. This trick, 
right here only requires a little bit of patience. So you're going to want to come on these coins and angle out towards the, the peak here that Sonic's looking at. And you're going to want to do a spin dash jump and at the apex of your jump hold left. So it sounds a bit complicated, but it basically just means that, right? You're going to spin dash out to the right. And then when you're at the apex, you'll hold left. So light jump, come through, swing out, land, jump out, and then homie attack in if you're a little low. I'll show that again. Light jump, X and A, let go of X, swing out, land. You're gonna wanna angle, charge your spin dash, and then jump up. I say this trick requires patience because a lot of people will, um, get there and they'll very quickly try and spin dash without oops without actually charging enough right they'll um they'll land on the coins and they'll just try and instantaneously do something like that and they won't get the jump because they're just they're not charging their spin dash long enough for the distance it's not a very long charge time but your nerves set in when you first land on the coins and you want to just let it rip but if you just take a second charge up you, you should be fine so all together, it's, you come here, light jump, light jump, X and A, let go of X, hold A, arc around, charge, hold left, done. Then you just hit the emerald. And that is Casinopolis. Don't get discouraged if it takes you many, many attempts to actually do that trick because it is quite a difficult one. Next is ice cap, skip these cutscenes, just mash start. in here pick up the stone <clears throat> sorry about that um, something just crashed on my PC one second sorry about that Okay, still seems functional. We'll continue on. So you come down here. There's no tricks really here. It's just going to the uh, ice cap. Come here. I personally prefer this level in auto cam, but you can do it in free. I personally find it much more difficult, but I have friends who find it easier, so. You're just gonna wanna spin dash jump up here, and I'll do that one more time. You come to this little ramp thing, charge your spin dash, and just jump over. And here is the first big skip. So when you get into this room, this bridge, I'll go into free to show it off. This door here normally falls down and extends into a bridge and that's how you get into the snowboarding section. However, you can also just clip through it. And there's a couple ways to do that. The way I do it is just jumping out like that and then homely attacking through. Oh, I'm screwing it up a little bit. But I'll, I'll show you the backup strat. This is in free game. So here's the way I recommend to beginners. Jump over, spawn this bridge, and then you can just jump and jump through. Um, I don't do this way, so I'm not very good at it, but should be just come to the middle of the bridge. Oh, and then you could just jump and jump clean through. You should be able to anyways. Um, I'm sorry for screwing this up a little bit. Maybe it's more to the left? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you just want to jump to the, the left part of the door, uh, regardless of which way you choose. So if you do this, it's just spin dash around over here, come up into the middle, 
and then jump through. The way I do it, and it is good to learn because it's a little bit quicker, is a spin dash out and then arc around. Um, right, like that. Trying to explain it in Gus Slow is a little bit hard because it is pretty precise. You basically just want to curve your stick from straight left to diagonal down right is what I do. Uh, recently I've tried holding L to rotate the camera a little bit. But, either way you do this trick, um, you'll get a feel for it regardless, right? Like, this way, you jump out, arc around, and then spin dash through. And the other way, which is in free cam, you just... Jump over, hit the button, run up, jump off, homing attacks through. Whichever way uh, you can come through here. I'll be doing more detailed individual videos on these kind of things. Here, uh, regardless of which one you choose, you're going to come up to... If you see this dark spot on the wall and this dark spot right before the gate, about right in the middle of that, you can kind of walk through the wall. Uh, it's a very finicky, but you just push against it. Keep micro adjusting a little bit, a little bit left, a little bit right. Then eventually Sonic will just go through like that. And then you're going to want to angle to this peak right here in the sky. If you can see, if you look directly straight above Sonic, you'll see that little bit of a point. You just want to point towards that and hold straight up. And uh, that's basically it for Ice Cap. When you do that, you'll just fall, keep holding up. I angled a little bit. Oh, uh, all right. I'm going to exit out because I actually screwed that up somehow. So I'll show all of ice cap in one clean go. That was my bad guys. Sorry about that. you come through come up to the spot in between the two dark points angle towards this point here and then just hold straight up my controller uh, has a really really weirdly inaccurate joystick so when I hold directly up, sometimes it's a little bit left or right. You'll see that thing spawn in on the left of you here while you're falling. That means you got it good. You just keep holding straight. See the level spawn in, just angle yourself a little bit back in towards it. And you'll just drop straight to the end. Sorry that that level was a bit scuffed. Uh, I don't actually have any video editing software, so unfortunately I'll have to just leave it in. Uh, I apologize for that. Get out of ice cap. Come on down. It's Knuckles next. Very easy boss. You just hit him three times. And now it's time for Chaos 4. Chaos 4 is a very simple boss, uh, albeit quite a bit tedious. Basically, after he attacks, you just want to follow him around. And charge Spin Dash wherever he's going to come up. And it will instantly hit him. Uh, he does one attack, moves three times, and then comes out. 
So this fight is the only fight in the game where a good amount of RNG comes in, and that is whether or not he uses his blue ball attack, which loses about 8 seconds. Uh, hits 2 and 3 are completely random whether or not he does it, but all the other hits you can avoid it if you just stay a little bit far away from him. So we didn't get it, he does a shockwave, we follow him, he moves a couple times, then we charge spin dash, and we hit him instantly. Very simple boss. Now for the final hit, you can't follow him around because he attacks three times. You basically just want to stay as far away from him as you can and in the air. So he'll do these like splash kicks instead of doing any sort of other attack because if you get too close to him you can trigger the blue balls yourself and that's uh, that's basically the worst thing you can do in this fight so we got the three flip kicks that's the fastest attack and that is chaos zero or er, chaos four sorry misspoke Sky Chase is next, and there's nothing really too interesting about Sky Chase. You just stick your character in the top right corner, and then you basically have two minutes to do whatever. If you have any questions about any of these tricks, please leave a comment. I will do my best to explain it. I will be posting individual level tutorials for all of the levels, and I will be posting more advanced tricks like... Um, how to do task route, how to do windy valley skip, all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll be making individual videos on those harder tricks. This is just a beginner's tu tutorial for people who are learning the game and are really interested in it. Right? This is this is just a starting point if you want to get a sub 40 run, basically. I'll, I'll be doing a, a basic movement video as well, showing off um, the differences between homing attack cancels, regular homing attacks, all that kind of good stuff. So you can look forward to those. If you're interested in learning the game and want to directly play with me and others, we have been for the past couple weeks now streaming practically every day uh, with all sorts of different players, right? Like uh, we have a, a couple brand new players who have already set sub 40 times within uh, a couple days of starting the game. We're, we're a very helpful community. If you go to Pasta with Delight on Twitch, uh, Button Busters on Twitch, The Seamorg, uh, that's C-M-O-R-G-U-E. All those channels we, we basically stream every day. Uh, Hugachaka uh, also streams on Twitch. All of us are very helpful. We'll answer any questions you have. There, there's almost guaranteed going to be at least one of us streaming a day right now. And we uh, actively encourage new players to come learn and join. We play on the PC disc version which is the 2004 uh, PC release, not the Steam version. It's very notable to say not the Steam version because the Steam version is a port of the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions, which were a port of the GameCube version, which were a port of the original, and as a result have way more bugs and glitches and are just, just a mess. So do not play those. There is a uh, coupon I can send you if you DM me uh, put together by some of the pros in the scene which is uh, basically a, a five finger discount of this game. So, you know, feel free to message me and I can hook you up with that. And Sky Chase Act 1 is done. So here's where, if you didn't get the crystal ring early, you get it now. You can come up to this door and charge your light speed dash. And it will actually open the door because the little balls actually have collision for some reason. So they can trigger buttons and stuff. So you get that if you didn't already have it and then come in here. Amy cutscene. And now Twinkle Park.
I'm not going to be doing track skip in the beginner's route, but I will have a video for that as well uh, pretty soon explaining how to do it and all that good stuff. I'll be showing off coaster skip, but it, it's, it's fine if you don't get it. Twinkle Park is a pretty simple stage. Your coins actually determine how fast you go. I believe every no uh, nine coins makes you go slightly faster. So you just want to get as many coins as you can. You want to avoid these monkeys at all costs. You want to hit this bomb here. Because if those monkeys hit you, you will not be able to make that jump. If you hit that jump with zero coins, you will die, guaranteed. Dodge these because they actually make you slightly slower, as you can see. I'm not a fan of Twinkle Park, it's probably one of my least favorite stages in the game, but it, it is a pretty short one, and it is pretty simple if you're not doing track skip or any of that kind of stuff. So here when you hop off, you want to hold left. And the reason you want to do that is so you have a chance to do coaster skip. So this hole, you want to fall in it in this state. You want to be falling in the hole as a ball. You don't want to just jump and then like drop in as regular Sonic. You want to jump and fall through. And when you transition into the next screen, you have a second or two to, to homing attack and avoid the coaster. So I'll try and do that right here. So you avoid it and you land here or on the other side or whatever. And then you can come into this little hole, hold L and R to lock your camera, do a spin dash hover, and then, oh, I missed it. All right, no worries. You can homing attack on that roof and, and there's a quicker way you can finish this level. But if you missed that jump, uh, which you will a lot, don't worry about it as a beginner. You just wanna hold down left when you're on the coaster. So you hop off here, spin dash out, Hit these buttons, come over here, charge a spin dash jump, All right, so to show that again, on the coaster, hold it down left, Spin dash out. I don't know why my camera didn't follow me. Hit these buttons. Come over here. Okay, my camera is very seriously messed up. Let's switch to free cam. Let's switch to free cam so you can see a little bit better. So on this ramp, um, when you hit these buttons normally, it kind of launches you up like this. But you can also just use this ramp to charge a spin dash jump up to the roof. And when you're on the roof, we're basically going to be jumping clean over it. So we're going to be jumping above this red over here and what you just saw was what I was about to talk about so if you're on the red and you're, and you're trying to jump it'll, it'll kind of screw you up it's not going to let you jump or get past it or anything like that and your gravity will get all skewed what you want to do is be on the white before the red and charge a spin dash jump and then you can just jump over it jump up hit the button and that is twinkle park done Coaster skip and track skip do not matter as a beginner. Uh, coaster skip is good to practice, uh, but I'll, I'll make a video showing both of those more in depth later. But as a beginner, you do not have to worry about it. So there's two things you could do here. You can come pick this up, which is the intended way. And come on, Sonic. You know, just come over, open the door and enter the level. Or you could come into this area and charge a spin dash and clip right through that wall. Um, it's only slightly faster to clip through the wall, so no shame in just doing you know the regular strat there. I just think it looks a little bit cooler and it's pretty easy to learn. So, so here you want to start the level. Spin dash, spin dash, jump. Spin dash, jump. Spin dash, spin dash. Cancel it. 
come up towards the top of the roof. And so just like in Casino, we're going to do another Spin Dash Hover. So like always for Spin Dash Hovers, we're going to want to do a light jump. And then X and A, let go of X, hold straight forward. And then you should just make it over. I'll show what happens if you go a little bit lower on the roof and aren't quite as high. So let's say you do it from here. Light jump, X and A, A, just hold straight. You can homing attack cancel and still make it over there. Grab this rocket, run along here. Remember, don't spin dash on anything that loops and then spin dash off here. And then you're gonna wanna land on this. That angle is a little bit weird because I'll show you again. From the start, spin dash down, jump over, spin dash jump, roll up the building, cancel, come up, light jump, X and A, let go of X, keep holding A, holding straight forward, spin dash, grab this, come down. When you're past this loop basically, from about here, you can spin dash jump and then land on that thing there. But as you can see, the camera's a little bit weird. So it's one of those things like, it'll take some practice, but you'll get a feel for it in the end. It, it's really hard to try and showcase because the camera doesn't really let you see too much there. Light jump, X and A, let go of X. Come on here. Pass the loop de loop. Spin dash jump. Oh. I actually went a little bit too early there. I'll show you what you can do if you don't want to do the spin dash jump. So light jump, X and A, let go of X, hold A. That should help you clear it very easily. So if you don't want to spin dash jump from there because it's just a little bit too risky, you can also just jump over here and jump off. And then you land here. Then you just spin dash jump over. Land on this rocket. Now, contrary to popular belief and how it may seem when you're doing it, the running shoes actually do help here. So you do want to grab them. It does make you run down this building slightly faster. Oh, okay. You don't want to bonk though. And then you just roll down, all very simple, very easy. Act three, you're gonna run on this wall here, get on this roof, and then spin dash jump up to here. If you don't make it, say you, you try and spin dash jump and you're like this and you just don't get the height, you could come off this ramp and also do it. And then from this ramp, spin dash jump up, land in this little room here, Spin dash jump across, jump over, and that's Speed Highway. Now after Speed Highway we're going to go to Red Mountain, but the train station is closed right now. So there's two ways to get in here. You can go through the hotel and then go into the casino area, which isn't that slow. You can clip through this side, which is absolutely insanity. And you can also just do this. This corner, you can just spin dash directly through if you angle it. So I'll show that again. Come over here, spin dash through, and then you're gonna wanna come under this box here and jump in. You do not wanna jump in down here because you'll get soft lock. You wanna jump in towards the door and it will immediately trigger the casino area loading screen. It's just a small little time save that's not too hard, so I recommend beginners learn it. Time for Red Mountain.
There's uh, a few different strats at a few different points that I'll show. So you get the rocket, jump across, hit this button, grab this rocket. And now here there's two things you can do. You can hit this bumper to the right and go on that bridge, or you can spin dash jump across here. It's a little bit trickier to do that from, from this, but it is possible. If you fall down here, you could just jump, hold A on that spring, and you'll still get to the bridge. So either way, it's all good. Come over to this rock right here, it'll launch you. Jump, grab the zip line. On the zip line, if you're in auto, here's where you're gonna wanna quickly switch to free. Here, you just jump over, jump over. And now here's where there's two strats. So I'll show you the strat I recommend you learn. I recommend learning this. You're gonna wanna jump from here to those rocks over there. So that's just a basic spin dash jump, but the geometry is a little bit finicky as you can see. So when you're learning, you'll you'll do that a lot. You'll clank with those rocks, but over time, you'll be good. You'll be able to just jump right up like this. So you basically wanna aim for this kind of part of it because if you aim for the rock right here in front of Sonic, it's, uh, it's really easy to fall off. And then from here, you just spin dash jump around and that's act two. So once again, you can just jump over, hit this button, jump over. Kill this monkey, I recommend if you're a beginner, just so you have a little bit more time to set this up. Spin dash jump, spin dash jump, and then you're at act two. Here is the backup strat. If you're finding, like, if, if you get to this point in the run, you're 50 seconds green, and you know you have a lot of trouble with that, you can just come up here. Jump over. Jump over here. And then you can see from here, you can see those rocks. And then you can just spin dash jump over. Land here, which is where we would normally get to. And then spin dash jump around. Whichever way you do it, uh, you'll end up in act two all the same That's a, that's a little bit of a tricky jump for beginners. So don't feel bad if it takes you a while to get it And then in red mountain you're gonna want to come under this Angle it so it goes down and then spin dash jump up here so once again um, I'll get a coin So you come here Angle it, spin dash, jump up, and then you're gonna hold up to the right, so you'll land on here. If you miss it, and you land in the lava down there, it's okay too, like let's say you land here. You can jump over to this one. Angle this one down, and then just jump up to here. Either way, doesn't matter which one you did. If you landed over here, you're gonna, so, You'll land up top. You're still gonna just spin dash jump over to here. Spin dash jump up, right? Either way, you're gonna do that exact same thing. So even if you went from this one, you're still just gonna spin dash jump that rock. There's no tricks here, you just roll through. I canceled my rocket because it's a little bit quicker than falling through the air, but that's about it. That's Red Mountain. Once again, for Sky Chase Act 2, you can just set your controller down. It's a good time to go grab a drink, go to the bathroom. You basically have three and a half minutes, I think. No, 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 uh, probably about three minutes to uh, to do whatever you want. I, I find it kind of nice that you get two bathroom breaks in the run.
yeah, there's really not much to say about this. Um, this is basically the point in the video where you can feel free to skip skip ahead towards the uh, the end of this section because, yeah, I don't really have any commentary to give. I kind of am just waiting for this to go through. Like I said, I don't have any video editing software, so I can't just cut this out, unfortunately. I know I may get um, some heat from the pros in the community for being so amateur myself and making a tutorial, but uh, this is just basically a way to get sub 40. This is just like a jumping off point for getting into the game. Kind of a transition between casual to speedrun. I use a PS4 controller for this game, but the absolute best controller is an Xbox 360 and then uh, an Xbox One because their joysticks are much more precise for jumps. You can get a lot better angles and stuff like that. So if you have a choice, I'd recommend learning on an Xbox controller. I only have a PlayStation 4 controller, so you know you can make do with it, but definitely if you have the option, I would, I would use uh, an Xbox. I always found it funny that they didn't make music long enough for Sky Chase Act 2. Like, it's a set amount of time you're in this level, and yet the music still loops, which is just remarkable to me. So here you're just gonna wanna mash. That's about all there is to it. It'll transform. You can't skip this cutscene, it just pauses, so just wait it out. Alright, this next level is, in my opinion, the worst level in the entire game. Sky Deck. So I'm not going to do any sort of crazy strats at all here. This is going to be all very basic stuff. want to jump over these jump jump how many attack these guys spin dash jump over here grab this rocket hit this bomb jump over uh, don't do a spin dash jump there you can uh, I was about to do it out of force of habit. You can just spin dash jump over here, but you can also just spin dash and hit this button. Definitely hit this checkpoint because the next trick, well, also that could happen, I guess. But this next trip is uh, definitely going to kill you a lot of times in practice. So, you know, you just climb up this ladder like normal. You don't want to climb this railing because it'll give out. So you want to jump and arc around it. And... The way you do that is the same way you dodge the kill plane in Casino. So you want to jump out and then jump back in. So you just kind of swing left and then swing right. Jump past these guys. Jump over here. And here is the one big trick we're going to be doing. So this railway right here next to us, you're going to want to jump over and land on this part from there. It'll definitely take some tries to get that down with the camera and stuff, but you'll get the hang of it over time. And then spin dash jump. That's it. We're in act two. Here, I prefer not to mash spin dash just because a lot of 
times those, uh, the, the balls from you. Yeah, I'll show you. So here's why I don't mash spin dash through this area. So when you're mashing spin dash, your balls, like your light speed balls, will kill enemies. And then here, you could just kind of spin dash jump and the wind will carry you. But if you don't get the wind, you could just spin dash jump up that slight ramp. Here, um, you're going to want to come to this part here and then just one spin dash. And it the bounce pads will let you get across the whole thing. Jump over here, hit this rocket. If you don't hit the early cycle, you just go to wherever it is. Oh. Act three. Get on here. Spin dash jump. Spin dash jump off this ramp. I hold L there to turn the camera. And now here, you're going to want to spin dash jump off this ramp. If you can clear the invisible wall, you can actually finish the level instantly with an early capsule trick, but that's quite hard. If, if you only land on top of it, you just come up, hit this button, and then roll down and hit the capsule. If you miss, so let's say spin dash jump up, spin dash jump up. Let's say you miss for some reason, like you're like this, and you land. This is fine. You just want to come here, and then oh, that is not what you want to do. You want to come here and then spin dash jump up. Here, I'll show you again. Sorry, I screwed that up a little bit. So if you miss. You go like this, you're like, oh, oh no, I miss. And you come here. You just want to jump and homing attack up. You don't want to spin dash. That was my mistake. Because the gravity change will still bring you up here. And then, just like the other way, you just come down, hit that button. That is Sky Deck. Again, if you have any questions about any parts, please let me know. I will definitely be happy to answer them. Jump over, land on this. Here's Knuckles 2. Over here, trigger this cutscene. Light speed, all very simple. Here, you want to come next to it and then turn left and use your light speed balls to hit the button automatically. Here, you just want to hold uh, down and spam homing attack. And now we're at Chaos 6. Chaos 6 is a very easy boss. Um, kind of just wait around for uh, Eggman to drop bombs. Get a little bit away from him so the balls don't hit him. Charge light speed dash, hold forward, and release. Come here, wait for him to drop a bomb. See, you don't want to be next to bombs either because your balls will hit it and you'll have to recharge. Then you just hold forward and that's Chaos 6. Basically after you freeze him, just step away from any sort of objects or him and then charge it just so you don't risk it. Lost World used to be one of my least favorite levels, but it's actually probably one of my favorite levels in the game now. I will not be teaching Snake Skip in this video because I don't think it's crucial you learn it as a tutorial. But I will be making a separate video explaining how to do it. We will be teaching one form of snake skip, but we won't be teaching the uh, fast, like the fastest way. So you hit that checkpoint, spin dash up. I was just checking that I was in free camp. This little slant right here, you could spin dash jump off, land up here, jump over, hit the water, wait for him, jump on top. And then jump up. 
So once again, spawn in. Spin dash jump up. Spin dash jump up. Spin dash jump. Hit this button. Jump on his head. And then jump up. And so the way we get through this door is you want to basically as long as you're not fully touching the door this trick will work so take a little bit of a step back you charge spin dash press start let go of your spin dash so right now I'm, I'm not holding any buttons and then unpause and it will clip you through the door here I just jump over jump over Jump over, jump over, jump over, jump over. I'm not going to teach waterfall skip in this video, but once again, I will teach it in uh, my separate Lost World video. You come down here. You can hit these buttons or you can spin dash jump across. Doesn't really matter. Here, I recommend holding L and R to lock your camera behind you. You don't want to mash spin dash here because it will make the boulder rubber band. But once you get past a certain point, like once you're past that ramp, you can because it's just too far away. Come through. If you angle to the upright on these doors, you'll clip through them without waiting for them to open. And once you're in this room, right, you come through the door, hit this button twice, and I'll show you two things you can do. So on this gravity, you're going to want to spin dash jump up, holding straight up, and it will launch over here. There's two strats here. The easiest way is just to charge up this in light speed, and that's the end of the level. And a little bit of a quicker way is to spin dash jump over here and spin dash jump. But both ways are very easy, or very low uh, time loss if you charge it, right? Like, you might lose a second or two. So it's, it's not crucial at all for a beginner. Go to the past. Neutral spin dash, so I didn't hold the direction there. I just used the camera button. Come out of it. Come over here. Ooh. The Eggman puzzle is really easy. So you hit this button, this button, this button, and then the button next to it. So like this. Oh, it's just kind of in a circular pattern. Right? So this one this one, this one, and then this one. So you just kind of do a circle from that one over. Final leg is a very easy stage. Spin dash through. I homing attack cancel at the top of this. Oops, that's uh, new. Come up here, hit this checkpoint, spin dash to jump, not like that, spin dash jump, spin dash jump, spin dash jump, when you get to act two you want to turn around, spin dash up this ramp, and then just jump off. And then you just want to angle yourself back in and you can just fall right through this roof here very easy trick so once again that's spin dash up jump off fall through this roof come around here hold upright drop down so here you can enter the elevator like normal, but if you have the extra lives, you can also just jump in this pit and it will trigger the loading screen. Doesn't really matter. And there's two ways to do this trick. Um, you can spin dash jump or hover here. Does not matter at all. Whichever one you personally like better, you can do. Does not matter whatsoever. So you basically want to aim yourself here, spin dash jump or hover through this wall, and then you just want to hold straight forward, like straight up, and then you'll see some pipes. And when you see those pipes, you can just turn in and homing attack. 
I'll show you the other way to do it. This way is trickier and is only slightly quicker. This way is a little bit timing based, so you know you go through here. One, two, three, four, right. And then you land. It just saves like a second, maybe. Either way you do it, I recommend just learning the whole straightforward because there's no way to screw it up. Very easy trick though. Very easy level. And then we're at the final boss. I will show off quick hits because I personally don't think they're too difficult to learn. But as a beginner, they are not necessary to get sub 40 at all. So you want to stand here, face down, wait for him to fire his laser, spin dash. Here's how you do quick hits. So when he opens, you spin dash, jump at him, and then you spin dash, jump back. So when you see that center part kind of blossom, that's when I jump. And you hold forward and charge a spin dash jump, and then while he's blossoming is when you can hit him and then jump back. I'll show you a strat my friend does who is not good at the quick hits. Um, I've never tried this, so I'll call it pseudo quick hit. Basically, he waits for it to open. And then he jumps over and does it like that. That's his way because he's he doesn't have the timing down for the normal one. I've actually never attempted that until right now, but it is very easy, it seems. So if you're struggling with the quick hits, I recommend that. Here's why you have to have a coin, because you need to get hit by this laser. So you just face towards him and let him hit you. Once again, you just come out, quick hit. Again, if you're not comfortable with that, you can do the other way I showed. You don't have to do either of it. You can do it perfectly regular as well if you're not comfortable, if that's okay. When he comes up with the tops, what you want to do is jump on the tops. Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. A bit of a blunder. That's funny. Okay, that's not what you want to do um, when the tops come out. I got a little bit overzealous. So if you don't feel comfortable with the quick hits or anything, you can just kind of do it the regular way too. Right? Which is just... I haven't done this in a while, so let's see. But it is quite a bit slower. Uh, like I said, it's not crucial to get like a sub 40 or anything. But the quick hits are nice to learn early because you'll hit a point where you're going to be doing them every run anyways. So when he blossoms, you just jump out, hit him. I'm going to get that back. See, the good thing about the quick hits is if you do it on all of them, you never transition to the other side. Get hit by the laser. So what you want to do for the tops is before he spins them, you can jump on top of them and hit them. So you don't need to wait for them to come to you. And then you want to, here, this is important, you want to come down to where these coins are on this side. So that when he pops out here, he destroys at the end, right? Because he'll destroy on the opposite of end. So here's what it looks like to not jump on top, right? You just have to wait that extra second for the tops. So it's not a huge time save, but it's a pretty easy trick. Come down here. And then for the last hit, you have to wait for it. You 100% have to wait for it. And then you hit him. You drop. And now, the way we've made him destroy the platforms, we don't need to move at all. We could just stand perfectly still and we'll never be hit. And time will stop when the explosion happens. So 
So that is Sonic Adventure. That is just a very basic tutorial for this game. Um, please let me know if you had any questions, any tips you wanted, anything like that. Once again, uh, I stream with a few others every single day playing Sonic Adventure. Um, Pasta Nova Delight on Twitch. The Seamorg, that's C-M-O-R-G-U-E. Button Busters, Huga Chaka. Invalid Username has begun running this game as well. Uh, th there's a group of us anyways, and we're very accepting of new players. We'll help you with all the tricks. We'll teach you the route, that kind of stuff. We like to race occasionally, um, just to, you know, kind of have a little bit of competition, but like, there's no pressure. You don't have to join in on those or anything. But yeah, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the tutorials. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or want to show some support. Thanks. Uh, see ya.